A heartbreaking 79th minute loss to the Kiwi Ferns last November that's still fresh in the memory is what's driving the Harvey Norman Gillaroos in their preparations for Friday night's test match at Suncorp Stadium. Coach Steve Folkes hopes his new Indigenous recruits will be the key to seeking revenge. The four new girls are from all from the Indigenous All-Stars uh, team that we played, uh, uh, the All-Stars played at Seabus a month or a couple of months ago now, I guess. Um, yeah, they, they just have raw talent that um, we couldn't pass up. Mahalia Cooper is one of four Indigenous All-Stars selected to debut for Australia. She says pulling on the green and gold has always been a goal of hers. You know, being able to um, represent my country, it's a great honour to be able to um, compete at the highest level against, you know, many talented women are in, in the sport in other countries and um, being able to play alongside the girls in your own country at the highest level is, is an ultimate goal, you know. I, I guess as a, in a childhood, it's everyone's, you know, um, dream to be able to represent their country in you know whatever sport chosen or any hobby that they chose but um yeah it's definitely a great honour. She could obviously play fullback but Sam Hammond you know is incumbent really and has done nothing to uh, push her out so and my, I know Mahalia plays centres uh, with her club side so um, it sort of seemed like a good fit. Uh, she's just an athlete you know so she's got uh, she's got great footwork great speed and she's developing her rugby league skills and and awareness. Indigenous All-Stars captain and NRL ambassador Talisha Harden is another to earn the call-up, along with Latoya Billy, who's travelled all the way from the Torres Strait to represent her country, and 18-year-old Casey Karkless, who is the youngest ever Jillaroo. The match that will be the curtain raiser to the main event between the Holden Kangaroos and New Zealand Kiwis is just another step forward for women in the game and a fantastic opportunity to showcase the incredible female talent. It's great exposure for the women, like we're really push trying to push it up there and um get women in league a bit more recognised as there's a lot of talented girls out there that really um, need to see this and um, I encourage everyone to try and get involved with it and um, really push it. It's something that has sort of been coming and I know Dave Smith at the NRL is really keen to, keen to advance the women's game and this is certainly a way to do it. They'll be playing, it's a sellout I would imagine, so they'll be playing in front of 50 odd thousand people and that's something that they won't have experienced before so it's, it's going to be a good night.